Recently caught up with Tom Jenkinson, better known as Square Pusher, while he was on tour in San Francisco. The thing I always gravitated towards was drum brakes. The idea of like sampling the drum brakes was the first thing I wanted to do, and then cutting up the brakes so that you could almost like mimic a drum beat. And then after a while, you sort of go, yeah, I want to, I want to do things that drummers can't do. You know what I mean? Like I started off using like a DR660 drum machine, and uh, when the guy demoed it for me in the shop, he was like, "Check this out, man!" And it was just like, book, like this really disgusting like Queen rock drum beat, and it was just like, "This thing's horrible." But I thought, oh, it's a drum machine. I want to get a drum machine, so I'll get it. And over the years of working with, it, I end up doing like granular synthesis with like a drum machine because it's just like you're going like, you know, like. And like the people who made a DR660 and never made, never made it to do those things, it just happened that it's got the facility to do it, but they never even thought about it. But it's just like any instrument, if you spend long enough with it, you can mutate it. I'm, I've got fed up with like trying to use uh, live instruments. I'm bored of it, you know, I just sort of want everything to be so brutal and digital. What I'm into doing is just starting off with more fundamental, like basic sounds and stuff and doing all the uh, all the tweaking and all the sort of ripping apart, doing all that in the secrecy. Once it's all turned into data, then you can really start like mucking around with it, like, like in a totally like way that you can never do with like tape machines and uh, instruments, you know. Because that's ultimately like one of the things that's good about electronic music. Like you can just do things that are be totally beyond like a pair of hands, you know what I mean? It's a pretty basic setup, you know. It's just like sequencer, sampler, uh, DSP, processing. That's it. I mean, I've always been into the idea of bass becoming a really kind of far more colourful sort of kaleidoscopic thing than it traditionally is, you know. But I don't know if it's just because of my attitude, like I like to take something and make it do what it's not supposed to do. The traditional roles of like drums and a bass and a sort of melody thing, like making them so that they can actually appear to swap places and stuff, you know. Like almost like the drums becomes the melody or the, or the bass becomes the melody or the melody becomes the drums. All the pioneers, like you know, like even like Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? When he first started, like putting, turning the gain up on his Marshall and that, and like feeding it back, it was just like, what's going on? But it, you know, he's doing something that wasn't a guitar wasn't supposed to do, but he revolutionised music through doing it. If you'd like to hear more Square Pusher, his album Go Plastic is available now on Warp Records. Now I'd like you to meet Mix.